Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about some Docker commands, in particular the Docker pull command, or sorry, Docker build commands, and why dash dash pull is, um, in my opinion, a best practice for that command. So let's jump into it. Okay, so to demo what I want to talk about today, uh, we're going to make a very, very simple Docker file, and this Docker file is not really going to do anything. Uh, but if we open up Docker file and we do from. I'm going to use Ubuntu Focal as my base image today, which is a particular distribution of Ubuntu. And we're just going to run a very simple command that's going to write a particular file. For, for sake of demonstrating this particular command flag, this, you know, this command actually isn't important. Um, I just wanted some non-trivial image. And if we were to run docker build, um, and we want to name our output tag, so we'll do dash t test. I don't know, just some random name. And then our build context is dot. That's where our Docker file lives. And so if we run this now, you'll see that we build an image. Uh, your output might be slightly different. I'm actually using uh, Podman, which is similar to Docker, but I've aliased Docker to, to Podman. So this might look slightly different on your computer, or you might run a slightly different version of either of those pieces of software. And so you might see a different output. Uh, but anyway, it built this image. And uh, this is great. This image works fine. So if we do docker run dash dash rm dash ti test bash, uh, we can run our image. And if we look at this f file, you can see, you know, we got our contents there. Now, in my opinion, this is actually not the best way to build a Docker image. And the reason for this is Docker build will default to using whatever image you already have on your machine. And so if I were to look at Docker images right now, uh, I have a bunch of output, but the important output is this down here, uh, where you'll see that I had the Ubuntu focal image, but this image is seven weeks old. Um, and the base image might have progressed since then. They might have you know, fixed some security vulnerabilities, updated packages, fixed some bugs, etc. cetera. Um, and so this, this old image might be vulnerable to, to you know, security problems. And so I find that it's always a best, uh, a best practice to make sure that you're building against the latest version. Uh, and you kind of have two options for that. One is to manually pull the image first or to use dash dash pull, which is what I'm going to show you guys right now. And if you dash dash pull, uh, what this signals to the build machinery is that it should make sure that it has the latest version of this image first. And so it'll essentially, it'll essentially try and pull before building. And so if we do this now, you'll see it takes a little bit longer because it needs to download the new image, um, but it, it did download the new image here. And so now it is building against the very latest version of this uh, base image. And if we run this again, you'll see that it's not going to actually pull anything new because, or well, <laughs> it claimed that it pulled something new, but it didn't actually, so you can see it did zero bytes of zero bytes. I think this is actually a bug in Podman. Um, I don't think Docker has this problem, but anyway, it didn't do a new pull. And so it got exactly identical uh, image as the previous run. Uh, there's also no cache, which I don't recommend because it often slows down your build, but that's another way to make sure that you're, you know, getting the latest versions of packages. Um, although I think it might still, it might still reuse the base image in that case. I don't really particularly know. Um, I also know that no cache doesn't work in Podman quite correctly, so we're going to skip that today. Uh, but anyway, the point of pull is to make sure that you have the latest base image version possible. If we actually go to Docker images right now, you'll see that we pulled a new version of Ubuntu Focal that's now only three weeks old. So instead of being seven weeks old, we've brought it four weeks uh, forward in time. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that is helpful. Oh, you can't see that because it's off screen. There we go. Now it's now it's on screen. Uh, <laughs> three weeks ago. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.